Mr. Donahue, Mr. Rosen, Mr. Engel, and others stopped President Trump's efforts, at least temporarily. Yet the message President Trump and his Republican allies pushed throughout December made its way to his supporters anyway. And they kept up the pressure campaign on the way to storming the Capitol on January 6th. Mr. Rosen, were you at the Department of Justice on January 6th? Yes, I was there all day. Once the Capitol was under attack, I understand that you communicated with fellow cabinet members and Capitol Hill leadership. Can you tell us who you spoke to? Yeah, I was basically on the phone virtually nonstop all day. Some calls with our own DOJ folks, some with cabinet counterparts uh, at DHS and, and uh, Defense and the Interior, some with senior White House officials and with a number of congressional leaders. Uh, uh, I received calls from Speaker Pelosi, from uh, Leader McCarthy, from um, uh, Leader Schumer, I believe um, Leader McConnell's chief of staff called uh, a number of other members of Congress uh, as well. And the, you know, the basic thrust of the calls with the members of Congress was there's a you know, dire situation here and, and can you help? And I reported to them that we were on a very urgent basis sending help from the department. Uh, we, we wound up sending over 500 agents and officers from uh, FBI, ATF, and the U.S. Marshals to assist with uh, restoring order at the Capitol. So I uh, had a number of calls. As I say, it was more or less nonstop all afternoon. Did you speak to the vice president that day? Uh, yes, twice. The, Did, no, please, go ahead. Well, I was going to say the, the first call was a one-on-one -on -one discussion, somewhat akin to the congressional leadership calls, uh, up, updating him on what we were doing to assist. And the, uh, the second call was a conference call around 7 o'clock with the vice president, congressional leaders, senior White House staff, some other cabinet officials, uh, to address that order appeared to be close to being restored, or restored, but security still being determined, and the question being, what time could the Congress reassemble? And uh, uh, the answer was 8 o'clock, and thankfully, Congress did reassemble and complete its constitutional duty. There was one highlight of that second call with the vice president, which is Mr. Donahue, had gone to the rotunda of the Capitol to be able to give first-hand account and was able to tell the, the uh, folks on the call, including the Vice President, that uh, we thought 8 o'clock would work. Did you speak to the President on January 6th? No. I spoke to a number of senior White House officials, but uh, not the President. Mr. Donahue, on January 6th, uh, we know uh, from Mr. Rosen that you helped uh, in the effort to reconvene joint session, the joint session, is that correct? Yes, sir. We see here in a video that we're going to play now, uh, you arriving with your security detail uh, to help secure the Capitol. Mr. Donahue, 30 minutes after you arrived at the Capitol, did you lead a briefing for the Vice President? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the time frame was, but uh, I did participate in the call and participate in briefing the vice president as well as the congressional leadership that night, yes. And where'd you conduct that call at? I was in an office. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it was. My detail found it because the acoustics in the rotunda were such that it wasn't really conductive to having a call, so they found an office. We went to that office, and I believe I participated in two phone calls one at 1800 and one at 1900 that night from that office. Uh, what time did you actually end up leaving the Capitol? I waited until um, the Senate was back in session, which I believe they were gaveled in a few minutes after um, 8 p.m. And once they were back in session and we were confident that the entire facility was secured and cleared, that there were no individuals hiding in closets or under desks, that there were no IEDs or other suspicious devices left behind, um, I left minutes later. I was probably gone by 8.30. And Mr. Donahue, did you ever hear from President Trump that day? No. Uh, like the AAG, the acting AG, I spoke to Pat Cipollone and uh, Mark Meadows and the Vice President and the Congressional Leadership, but I never spoke to the President that day. So in today's hearing, we've showcased the efforts of the Americans before us to stand up for democracy. Mr. Rosen, Mr. Donahue stayed steadfastly committed to the oath they take as officials in the Department of Justice. 
On January 6th itself, they assisted during the attack while our commander-in-chief stayed silent. Their bravery is a high moment in the sordid story of what led to January 6th. 